Fuck. Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Jurassic World Alive where today I went around and oh it's right look it's daylight for the first time I'm recording this and you can see my face by natural sunlight. Anyway, and we'll go to this because we caught, all right, when I was out, I caught loads and loads of dinosaurs. As you can see, we got like 2,199 coins as well. So before we check to see what dinosaurs we got, um, I'm going to collect this because I have been doing the battles while I've, uh, like, last night and, uh, well, yeah, basically, just, I was going to say today, but not really. Um, oh, another suit just and Utah Raptor. We're getting there. Oh, I can't, I'm looking forward to getting that Utah Raptor, actually. And we're not, I'm not going to make that just yet. I'm going to set that overnight because... Oh, oops. Did I click that? Oh, no. Good. Okay. Because we got... Look, these are all the dinosaurs that I captured last time. And um, there's a lot that we can upgrade to make him better. But I ended up catching all of those. So, welcoming to the stage, the one, the only, Allosaurus. Which, of course, sports the colorings of the Mattel uh, dinosaur. Um, we don't know if that's going to be what, what it's going to look like in the movie. Uh, so we can also get it up to level 2 as well, so we might as well do that. So it's helped. Okay, it's got quite a lot of attack, but it is a common dinosaur. Uh, also, I've been like, oh my god, <gasps> can we make it? We can make it level 3! Oh, that looks so awesome! The way it stretches its neck there as well. So they don't get like a crazy amount of extra... Um, damage or health when they level up but it, it's safe to say it's a fair amount so that's the allosaurus done this is a rare one and this is i think the woohoosaurus the one dinosaur that i didn't get last time so I'm, I'm actually really excited to get this look at that 1400 421 attack but but i did also manage to get oh yeah a level two oh my god that cost 200 so 74 extra uh, health, 21 extra attack. So there's not too much difference between that. And we're getting close and it's gonna cost us 400 for the next one. Oh, I'm glad I didn't get too many of those. I did actually manage to uh, spot this hybrid out in the wild, uh, the Nodopot Nodopotosaurus. Uh, was there any other ones that I managed to tag? There was an epic. I uh, did manage to get T-Rex DNA. We look at the T-Rex. It's not the T-Rex from Jurassic World, the game. So they didn't skimp out on that. They made a whole new T-Rex. Um, oh yeah, ooh, I got quite a few of these, the Tani Coolasauruses. Um, again, I'm in America, so I don't know if these are, if like some of these dinosaurs are America only dinosaurs, I'm not too sure. They could very well be though. But the reason why I haven't collected my other DNA uh, loot box or whatever you want to call it, a uh, supply drop just yet, is because um, if I get up to level four, which could be very possible, Oh, and also this one. This one's a rare as well. This is Proceratosaurus, which was in the quiz um, that came with the Mattel. So I'm wondering if this is going to be like a dinosaur toy as well. So it's about a thousand. He's not as good as Woosaurus. Does it cost two? Hey, it costs 200. So he's level seven. Um, maybe it has better attack, but it doesn't. It seems like it's weaker. I'm not sure. But still a really good one to have. Uh, did manage to track down a Guanodon. Just managed to get that actually. I was like, hold on a minute. Oh, that's new, isn't it? And it just so happened it was. And whoa, it's got loads of health. Uh, not so much attack though, but maybe health is more of, it, more of its strong suit. Uh, did manage to get a Dimetrodon, which we can definitely get. Oh, this is Dimetrodon Gen 2. So maybe Gen 1. I'm, I'm kind of noticing a pattern because you'll see that we managed to get a uh, Ankylosaurus um, that was a Gen 2. And it looks like the Ankylosaurus from Jurassic World, rather than like a generic, like the way Ankylosaurus should look. So I'm wondering if these Gen 2s are from movies or games, but this Demetrodon doesn't look like it's from either. And it, to, to be honest, it's not very good. <laughs> but this is the Gen 2 Ankylosaur, and I managed to uh, catch two of them, because at level three, the max DNA you can harvest from a dinosaur um, goes to 80. So at level 2, I think it's 70. So the higher level you get, the more DNA... It's, it's best to level up your dinosaurs rather than, like, um, catch all of them and then level up. It's best to level up gradually so you can harvest more DNA. Because if you saw a Spinosaur and you only got 70 DNA from it, if you're level 4, you could get 80. So it's actually better to do that. Um, so that is all the new dinosaurs we have. So that is our collection. We're doing pretty good. So there's not really, look, that's all the dinosaurs we've seen. 
and that's them left. So there's still a few dinosaurs we haven't seen. I have seen Spinosaurus, and it is the Jurassic Park 3 Spinosaurus. But I did make a, a point of getting a, a few dinosaurs that I knew I had quite a lot of, and that would be really good. So Nunda, Nunda Sutures, it was, I was like, we've already got a level four, might as well get like a level five. Oh, and we can get a level six for a hundred coins. <laughs> Just, 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 you know, a little bit. So that, he's, he's not one of the strongest, but he's one of my highest level creatures. Um, Tarbosaurus, I made sure, because I was like, this thing has a load of health and a load of attack. And I got 58 extra health there. So that was a dinosaur. I was like, okay, if I see one of those, I'm definitely capturing that. Because sometimes you don't have enough darts or batteries and you're like, you have to pick and choose which dinosaurs to go for. Another thing I want to um, say about the game is that it's really... It's very car friendly. Like in Pokemon Go, if you went over a certain speed limit, then dinosaurs wouldn't appear, or Pokemon, sorry, wouldn't appear. With this one, I was teleporting around everywhere, but there was still dinosaurs to collect. So I was like, this is actually way better. It's almost like Luna sat down and went, how could we top Pokemon Go? Isn't it annoying if you're just a passenger and you can't collect Pokemon, so. But they do have that passenger feature, so you have to say you're a passenger. I don't know if Pokemon Go did that, if they added that change. I remember you have to say you're a passenger, but I'm pretty sure over a certain speed limit, you still couldn't catch any. So this, this has to be one of our best creatures. 1,600 health and 323 uh, attack. So that makes it level five. Oh, we're level four. Oh, we are really, really close. Come on, there's gotta be, yeah, we got loads more. Uh, I got quite a few Stegosaurs. Uh, Cause I was like, oh, Stegosaurs probably really good. And wow, yeah, that's a lot of health and attack. So I made sure I made sure that we could definitely level this, this thing up twice. I was, when I found quite a few stegosaurs, I was like, "Oh, I'm capturing those bad boys." Also, some of the uh, is that level four? Oh, yeah, it's level four. Awesome. So now we get a max uh, thirteen from each dart, and uh, incubator has increased to one level as well. So we should get better prizes in that. Uh, so now, can we collect it? Oh, it still says level three. Ah, oh, damn it. Okay, so it seems like you can't just save it. You have to like collect it. And by the time it refreshes, depending on what level you are there. So 20 darts, three batteries, uh, more Utah. Oh, we got legendary? Oh, we didn't get any epic. Sorry, epic uh, thingies. So is there any other dinosaurs that we could level up that are really gonna be worth it? Enosaurus might be worth it. We'll have a, we'll have a look. Yeah, no, it's, it's gonna be really worth it. I did catch uh, a few of these at the very end of today. I was like, yeah, there's quite a lot of these. I haven't used this creature and it's one of the first ones you get. So I'm sure we're going to catch a load of them. And you know, when we level it up quite a bit, it's going to turn into a pretty good dinosaur. And at the moment, everything's quite even. And I think my best is really um, like a Patasaurus. So we'll have a look at, um, li li well, you know what? We'll just level them up because we've got plenty enough coin. Oh God, that's awful. <laughs> yeah, that is really bad. 700. Okay, I know for future, does it have a hybrid? It doesn't have a hybrid. Do not catch Linthorax, it's really bad. <laughs> How about Ophicodon? Is that any good? Eh, not really, I don't think so. I could be wrong, does that, if it has a hybrid, no it doesn't, but it does have a critical chance. And that is all my dinosaurs level up, but I wanna just switch in some dinosaurs that could be pretty decent that aren't in there. So, Woohoo Saurus is definitely in this. So we're gonna modify, I'm gonna switch out uh, Parasaurolophus, because I don't think Parasaurolophus is very good. We'll switch into Woohoo Saurus, which is level seven. So really, you can just quickly go through. Uh, Dilophosaurus is not good <laughs> at all. Uh, you know what, yeah, we'll go for the Parasaurolophus, and we'll switch out Majungasaurus, because I don't think Majungasaurus is very good, because uh, the uh, Sukumimus has the bleed swipe, which is really good. And we'll switch in Majungus. It's either going to be Stegosaurus or Allosaurus. What does Stegosaur have? Oh, it doesn't tell you. Oh, man. Um, it, it, we could even switch in Enosaurus. Because how many herbivores do you? You know what? We'll switch in Enosaurus because it is level four. And that is me done. So the interesting thing about this is if we go into battles, we're actually in like the geothermal plant from Fallen Kingdom. And it's not even out yet. Because uh, I did this last night and I was like, hold on. Isn't that the little circular vent that the uh, Baryonyx comes through? And after close inspection, I was like, yeah, it is. <laughs> so we're going to do a cover battles with our new dinosaurs and just see how good they are. See, there it is in the background. So Arena 1 Fallen Kingdom, we all recording right? We're recording right. Okay, so you get, a, you get a random choice of your dinosaurs. So we're definitely going to switch in. 
Woohoo, Saurus! So that's an Iguanodon. Iguanodon's pretty good on health. Um, and it's level 3. So I'm just gonna go for a regular uh, hit. He does 313. We do a fair bit though. 419! Awesome. Okay, so what are these? Uh, targets damage reduced 90% this turn. Oh, that's good. We don't go to- we don't go first though. So deal 1.5 damage. Target speed is minus 50%. Yes, we'll do that one. So we'll make sure that we get the uh, the fast goes. There's no point stunning them if it means that turn, because we go last. So I kind of want to do that Thagomizer hit. This one, how much damage? Targets attack that. Yes, and then we do this one. Oh, oh, okay. Goes for the switch, that's interesting. Oh, we faster though. Dam oh, it doesn't do any damage. Oh, okay. And it, it's worn off anyway. So we have to be faster in order for that to work. So we'll just go for some regular hits. Remember, this opponent only has four dinosaurs, the same as us. So as long as they don't do like 500. Um, you know what? I'm going to do this now because he's going to have like 90% less attack. So let's see what he does. 36. Awesome. And then how about we do this one? 672. That's one KO. We only need two more. Right, in comes Iguanodon again, who's probably, yeah, who's definitely faster. So, it depends. I don't think he can hit me for, um, I don't think he hit me for 500. So, I'm going to, I'm going to stay in. Yeah, two, we'll probably die next time, though. So, oh, we got him! Oh, yes! I was so happy when I saw that Woohoo Saurus. There was two of them right next to each other. <gasps> Sukumaru's look so awesome there! Oh, yes! Um, he gets to go faster, so you know what? Let's put in Pro Ceratosaurus! This thing looks awesome! I love the fur and then the little bony crest at the top. Damage over time, yeah, of course, that's Sukumanus' ability. Um, so what do we have? Uh, target damage reduced by 50% for two turns? Heck yeah, let's do that one! Do we also do damage? I think we do. Yeah, there we go. So 570, he's gonna do half damage now, but at the same time, we do lose a fair chunk of health! Oh, what's this one? Uh, decrease speed for 50% for three turns, deals 1.5 damage. We're gonna do that and that should take it out. Oh, yes, there we go. Sukumimus out of the- I love those death animations. They look so good. You win. There it is. Didn't, not a single KO in the team. And is that a really quick one? I think that's a really quick DNA jar. Oh, it's 15 minutes. It is very quick. Okay, you know what? We're gonna do one more battle. Um, and just see, because what I like about it in Pokemon Go was if you fought your Pokemon, you had to uh, use potions, just kind of a bit, like this thing has batteries and darts, which is a bit disappointing, because if you run out of batteries, you can't battle, and if you run out of darts, you, sorry, you, you can't collect DNA, so there's like two things that stop you from uh, collecting dinosaur DNA, that's darts and batteries, so we're going to start off here with uh, probably my Eupocephalus, because it's got loads of health, it's one of my better rare dinosaurs. And one that you should definitely get when you get the game. <laughs> if you see this creature, uh, definitely get it. So the purpose of doing the battles is basically the longer you do the battles, um, ooh, what's this one, 1.5? Oh, 1.5, heck yeah, let's do that one. Uh, the purpose of doing the battles is uh, you, get, you get more containers. And the more containers you have, the more chance you get of getting epic DNA and stuff like that. You get like darts and bugs and all this jazz. So, um, should we stay in? You know what? I'm gonna stay in. I'm gonna stay in. Oh, he switches into a Gondon, which is also faster. Uh, but I do have like 40% defense, so we're, we're, we're doing really good. Look at us! Oh, we're doing awesome! <gasps> we might be able to get up to the next arena, guys! Not in this episode, because this is the last video I'm gonna be recording in America. So by the time this is up, I'm probably back in England anyway. Um, look at that. 200 damage. Does nothing. Um, I'm just gonna go for a regular hit. He may switch up. Oh, switches into a pedestal. This is good. This is good though, because we're doing damage to his team overall, and now we're faster. Look at that defense. Now, what would be good is a dinosaur that can get through my armor, but um, I, he might not have one. And I don't know these dinosaurs too well at the moment to know what dinosaur is good against me. So I'm gonna go for the 1.5. Look at this. We're taking out everything. We're been damaging his entire party here. I like it. It's more like Pokemon because now dinosaurs have different moves. It's like Pokemon Go made Pokemon re like it just watered it down so much to every Pokemon only having 
two attacks. Or basically, it was just like a regular attack and a heavy attack. Whereas this has taken Pokemon Go and went, you know what? We're gonna do dinosaurs. And we're gonna give them, eat. like some of them have three attacks and even four in some cases. So we're gonna go for like, oh, positive effects removed. Oh, that, sorry, that was mine. So that's a Panasaurus out of there. Whew, come on, Parasaurus, we've got this. Um, he's faster, although we're just gonna go for a regular- Oh, he switches in, Stegosaur, it's official. All of his Pokemon, sorry, all- Look so confused. It's in the title as well. <laughs> all of the dinosaurs. Um, so is this, uh, have been hurt by me. Oh, when we got critical, and his attack's taken down. Leaving with only 180, we're quicker, Stegosaurus is out, doesn't matter what he switches in here, he's gonna be out of it. And I'm kind of worried because I know that switches off in 20 seconds, so I'm hoping it doesn't stop recording. <laughs> and the Parasaur does get to go first, but Pro Ceratosaurus, done! That is it. Two battles, easy. Oh, that was awesome. I'm really liking this game at the moment. I like the battle feature, I like going out and collecting. I like, the only thing I'm not too keen on is probably the um, the whole battery and darts. I'd rather just have one. So I'm gonna switch that in so we, ooh, minimum guarantee. So we are definitely gonna get Utah Raptor. It must be really good because all the prizes are Utah Raptors. And that is gonna have to wrap up the episode, guys. If you've enjoyed it, leave a like. And until next time, I'll see you when I get back to the UK. In which case we can play more of this and maybe we can do maybe a bit more polished to the videos instead of this room. So if you enjoyed the video, leave a like until next time. Thank you again for all the support you guys have left on this series. I know it's very like kind of basic at the moment with the whole recording setup, but it means a lot the all the support you've given me. Until next time, I'll see you later. Bye-bye.